Hi, I'm Linda Glover Gooch and welcome to my studio. In today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, my palette, the colors that I have chosen and the different brands. Some uh, people stay with one brand, like me, a lot of people use a different, you know, a lot of different brands. I, it's really a personal choice, what works for you, but I thought I'd put together this video for you and go over my palette. Um, I think it's a curious thing what people use. I get uh, emails and messages from students and on Facebook, they're curious about my palette, what colors I'm using. And you know, the one famous question is, how'd you mix that color? Um, all, all those questions. And we're all curious about that. I'm curious sometimes with some of my friends when I'm out painting or other artists, what colors they're using. So I'm here today to share with you my palette in full disclosure, gonna explain all the colors I use. And typically I use the same color uh, outdoors as I do indoors. I might add some specialty colors if I was out painting a garden somewhere and there was some you know beautiful pinks and reds. I might add some reds that I don't normally carry with me. Um, and then maybe if I was painting the fall colors, I might add uh, some deeper yellows if I felt like I was in need of them. So we'll take a close-up look at my palette, the brands, and um, just share with you my favorite colors, what I like to use, and what my palette looks like. Sound good? Let's do it. So I'm going to go over uh, my palette with you today and predominantly this is the palette that I use all the time. If I'm going somewhere painting and there are fall colors or I'm doing a scene in the studio that has fall colors, I'll add some different uh, mixtures or different tubes. Or if I'm doing certain flowers in the spring, there are a few other tubes I might add. But predominantly this is my palette for most of the time. So what I have is um, I have my Winsor Newton here and it is a uh, lemon cadmium lemon then I use Gamblin's cadmium yellow medium I use Gamblin's transparent orange I use Windsor Newton's yellow ochre pale I like the pale way better than just the standard yellow ochres I use um, this is Rembrandt's raw sienna but there are times when I'll change brands on this just depending on what's on sale or what I can find. Um, I always use Rembrandt's Transparent Oxide Red and this color uh, would simulate a burnt sienna. I like it better because of the transparencies, so it's my pick. I use Grumbacher's Cat Orange always. Don't vary from that brand very often and I'm always using Grumbacher's Cad Red Light. I like their Cad Red Light. It has enough yellow in it that it takes it just a little bit to the orange side. So when I mix my gray blues, I get a gray opposed to a violet like you get when you go to alizarin. So I'm always using Grumbacher's Cad Red Light. Um, if I find others, you know, in the market that would work, I would use them too. But I'm, I just like this one. Windsor Newton, um, Alizarin Crimson, and sometimes I do change brands depending on what is available. Williamsburg Severs Blue, which would be replacing like a Cerulean Blue. Um, Holbein Cobalt Blue Pale. I just love this blue. It's my choice. It probably is a little bit more expensive than some other Cobalt Blues, but predominantly they're all pretty pricey, Cobalts. Um, Rembrandt Ultramarine Blue Deep. I like the Ultramarine Blue Deep and I usually will buy the Rembrandt just because I like the smooth creaminess of it. Um, so it does, you know, replace French Ultramarine Blue or other Ultramarine Blues. I just like the deepness of it. Then I use a, a Viridian Green. This one happens to be Gamlin, but I do also use other brands. It's just I happen to have this one. And then I always use Grumbacher's Thalo Yellow Green. And not all phthalo yellow greens are equal. This one works for me. Um, I like the mixtures I can get from it. I very seldom would use this color pure straight out of the tube, but um, you know it gets uh, worked with, neutralized with other mixtures. Um, I have here a tube of sap green. 
um, and this is a Grumbacher sap green and I do keep it around for times when I want to make a mixture with it but for my dark greens I moved away from sap green just because I felt like I was relying on it too much I was kind of getting bored with it so I make my sap green with transparent orange and ultramarine blue deep that's why I have transparent orange on the palette I don't really use it for much else than mixing my dark green so transparent orange and ultramarine blue deep make a sap green the reason I like mixing my own is I can make it warmer or I can make it cooler. I feel like I get a little bit more variation with it when I'm mixing them. And so that's just my choice in that. So that's the only reason I have that transparent orange. I don't use it for anything else but that. And then my white is Gamblin White and uh, Titanium White. But sometimes I'll use other brands. Again, it sort of depends on what is available, where I'm shopping. I do like Gamblin products quite a bit. I like their paints. They're always creamy, um, good quality, I feel like. So that um, is typically the white I usually stick with. 